Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Yeah, utilize the powers of saving and quitting to get that cutscene back. But anyway, <laughs> something I didn't show before is that you see that moons, well, already collected. They still show up on here when you restart an area. You can actually get coins for that. Yeah, look at that! It's crazy, right? Anyway... <laughs> So obviously this is a moving platform segment. And we got some sentry beams coming up over here, so beware of their circular attacks of doom. Although, don't worry if, if you don't activate them. But for the sake of things to show you, I'm gonna activate them. <laughs> yeah, that's how they work. And they're kind of a kind of a dangerous critter in the, the right circumstances, I guess you could say. But uh, I primarily came over here because, well, purple coins. Yeah, <laughs> and this is going to go down to this bottom layer with the others. Yeah, they kind of meet up here, but you know, you miss out on. Well, I can't, can't really show it with that camera angle now, can I? Uh, well, I can do it this way by clicking in the right analog stick. Yeah, there's one coin you miss if you take that route, but in exchange, you get the purples. And did I wait? Did I say that the purple coins are actually called regional coins? Well, well. Now you know, if you if I didn't. <laughs> Whoa, I want, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, I want... I want that, there you go. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have activated that at all, just... But, you know, you get some extra coins, and for the sake of showing everything, of how things activate and stuff like that, we're okay. Alright, so now we're kind of stranded here. We're like, oh man! Oh man, like this is completely boxed in island town right here. Well, I, I guess maybe not completely. There's this dealie over here. It's... Hmm. Hmm. A moon. What could this be? Well, you gotta get the moon shards to activate that, basically. And this is a Moi Eye. Yeah, it's not... It's, it's not really an enemy. It's... <laughs> I mean, you, you can run into it, it doesn't hurt you or anything, unlike this stuff right here. Oh, it automatically kills you! Yeah, it's unlike the quicksand. <laughs> See, when you die, you lose 10 coins. I finally dem- Oh, it put me back here! <laughs> I was gonna say, I finally demonstrated it for you, but... Oh yeah, I didn't hit that checkpoint down there. Whoops! I sh well, not checkpoint, it was like a warp point. You, but I guess it is technically a checkpoint in this case. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of a bother. You know, I wonder if I can do this. I'm gonna go do some fanciness here. <laughs> that was a really advanced move, by the way. <laughs> Let's save a bit of time, though. What I did was I basically used a hat jump, which I didn't really show before. If you do a ground pound and then press the Y button in midair, you do this diving motion. Well, you can combine that with a hat throw to jump on top of your hat and get extra distance. You can only do that once, but I was able to do two of these in midair to get across that. Yeah, it's it's probably more advanced than I needed to do to get back here. <laughs> so anyway, that's a moon shard. Oh, it's a piece of a power moon. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So anyway, I gotta capture these these mo eyes here because they they can see what we cannot see by taking off and putting on the shades. Yup. So you can tell where there's some secret stuff just by that away and whatnot. So that's that's how we're basically gonna make progress here. And yes, they can run into cactus like that. But the birds, the birds know what's up. <laughs> they know that there is something over here. And you can walk on it. They're, they're natives of the area. <laughs> <laughs> and you cannot jump with the mo eyes. That's why I got out of the mo eyes to be able to do that move. And I'm supposed to go up top with this, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I would like to go and get that moon shard, among other stuff that's on this lower area and whatnot. Those footsteps. Where was he headed? And yeah, did you see? Did you see those back there? Did you see? See? Wait. It was actually referring to I think this right here, but. I think it's actually uh, pointing out something else. Maybe I, I'm not sure. I, I never really got that. On an all honest, on, <coughs> excuse me. In all honesty. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna go take my lap around here. I think I'm actually good to go here. Uh, by the way, at the upper area, yep. 
Might wanna might wanna take note of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's get move on here. And yes, it will uh, kill your mo eye, I do believe, if you go in there, so don't. Not right now, unless you wanna play around. But anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go upsy doodle here. And actually take a peek around. Yeah, I think that was those footstep thingies didn't really indicate much of it. I don't know, maybe they indicated that they were going up over to there, because see those footsteps? Well, no, wait, those are my footsteps, never mind. I don't know what they're for, then. <laughs> I guess you don't need to take any notes here, because you can all go, all go all the way over here, and yes, you can even see invisible coins. Isn't that fancy? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> there are... I mean, there's one more moon shard to get up top over yonder. It's all lateral angles, so it's not really much to worry about here. Uh, although, you you know, you can fall off there, which not that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, the last one is over here, and this is probably the trickiest one of the swords. First, gotta kind of... Oh, wait, I... Uh, wait, is it... Uh, oh, wait, maybe I... Oh, maybe this is for later, and I'm thinking of something else. Hmm, mmm, mmm. That Bowser sure was stomping around the hall. Oh, that's what they're talking about, is Bowser was around here. <laughs> Well, that makes a lot more sense. Anyway, where was that last one? I kind of forgot where the poop the last one was. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, uh, over here, this is back near the starting area. I said if you go around the perimeter, there's some secrets to find, like that sort of dealio there, but I'll, I'm saving that sort of stuff for later. Oh, I, I see. It was, it was right over by... Yeah, this corner over here. How did I forget this one? Maybe because it's just, it's like off in the deep area that's out of my vision area. All right. Can't believe I forgot about that one. All right, let's go. <laughs> we got the last one. We can get that moon and make progress to the next area. Woo! But, but, what will it be? We'll find out soon. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, whenever you get these storyline type moons, you get a cutscene afterwards for the next storyline type moon, but you know, I'm gonna end up getting all sorts of other stuff along the way as well. Ooh! That upside down pyramid door has opened! Showdown on the inverted pyramid! Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll make it up there this part. I mean, I just, just I just may, but I'm, mm, I don't know, because I, I, I kind of want to go around and do some other stuff. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just kind of messing around. <laughs> just kind of, I'm thinking about stuff, I'm messing around. Anyway, I, I guess it puts me back over here, so we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what we're supposed to do is go all the way to that pyramid, but I don't know. I kind of wanna, kind of wanna go check out something else. Is yeah, you can see, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Look who is up there. But it's gonna take me a, a while to actually get up there anyway. So but what I wanna do is go around this way and go to a building because I do believe I can go in the building now. Wait, is this? Can you ground pound in the middle of these? No, okay. Sometimes if there's this like a formation of something, you could ground pound in the middle of them and find something. For one, for one thing I would like to do here is uh, get this checkpoint, well, warp point I should say, and the other thing is to go inside here and do uh, quite a tricky challenge here. Tostarina Northwest Reaches. So let's go inside here and check that out. So, what we have here is a bullet bill type place. Yeah, you gotta use bullet bills to cross over the abyss of doom. So let's go ahead and do our best. And I guess I can do, do a little stop here to collect the coins along the way. I think there's two power moons to find over here. So, oh no, no, that, that's not, that's bad. Oh yeah, I was supposed to, I should just shake whenever I'm off, off kilter on my aiming. <laughs> and don't, don't get too, uh... Don't get too hasty with your movements there. If you hit the wall as a bullet bill, kind of kind of blow up and you'll go into the toxic sludge. So probably not the best idea to just kind of kind of go a full blast at all times, unless you're trying to speed run. Ah! Just 
find a speeder on this game. Yeah, it's tight enough getting through there <laughs> even normally. But anyway, I got those six coins, so I guess I don't need to go back through there again. Now I can take the right route. Oh, jeez! Can I save myself? No, I can't. <laughs> oh, 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 I got through it there the first time just fine. I think I'm just getting sloppy now. Come on, let's focus. Let's do this. I can actually skip this, I do believe, and just go straight on ahead. Yeah, like so. And then there is the other moon. Well, mo well, this I guess should say the secret moon of the area down over this way, which is kind of dicey to get to, but I am getting to it. Yeah. And I guess I even killed that bullet bill on the way to it. Oh no no. Man, my aim and just like. Everything is off today. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna make the one part and call it a day. <laughs> it's like my platforming skills has reverted back to when I was just learning somehow. Oh, look at that! I, I missed again. For... Unbelievable. <laughs> so anyway, car careful not to accelerate through here, and also you may want to take the wider route because you can kind of adjust the speed that you're going through this if you're getting too close to the wall. Just saying, and there we go. Woo! So that is the end of the Bulletville Maze. And we're getting out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I can do another side quest that's on the top of... No, it's frozen! Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> Maybe I should have saved this for later after all. Well, I shouldn't say it's a side quest if we're going to collect everything. It's, it's every Everything is a main quest when, when you're going for 100%. Now, is there someone I'm looking for behind this building now? Well, there's coins here, but the thing is that I was looking for someone else behind here too, because there's another quest that, um, that opens up over here later on, and, well, I guess it doesn't right now. <laughs> All right, help! I know, I know. We, we got stuff to collect, though. By the way, you can do this move here by pressing ZL and mashing the Y button. Yep, yep, yep. By the way, there's a couple of sheep around this area. I want to corral them into a place that's near the front edge. Yeah, see this over here? Yeah, this guy is looking for his lost sheep. He's like. Oh, no, 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 my beautiful sheep, the three of them has escaped, but I'll never get them back! Or, fuck. Uh, that might be how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get these sheep in there. We just gotta kinda lead them around. We can also kinda do some sheep abuse to make them go a little bit faster if you'd like to, but oh, jeez, don't hit, don't hit the poor cactus. Oh! The, we've angered the sheep! <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's just go ahead and try that again here, if you don't mind. Although my aim is just absolutely horrible. Alright, so we gotta curve it. Avoid the cactus. Avoid the cactus. And there we go, that's one. What do you have to say about that? No, okay, same dialogue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for the other two, which should be fairly nearby. If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and... Look, see down over that away because I do believe there is one over this. Well, I guess there maybe there. <laughs> oh, there's one over there at least. But yeah, I thought there was one over at the other area. Man, my memory and everything is just horrendous today. I swear. By the way, you can ground pound glowy areas. Woo! Yeah, I might as well get that here. Just as just as long as I'm around the area. Lost in the luggage. That has to do with. Uh, uh, well, I, I guess I gotta talk to them right now. What is, what is this regular human thing? Oh, oh! <laughs> I got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this mess, I'm not going anywhere soon. <laughs> so yeah, he's got. Oh, well, you could walk, I guess. It's not not really a big deal. But anyway, that sheep. This sheep kind of got away from me. I want you, sheep. Yeah, and I want you to go back home. This way. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Go! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Yes, I'm sort of kind of like pool balling it and hitting one circular object into another. And, and, in you go. Okay, that's number two. Let's go ahead and get number three, which I thought, as I said, was over around this area somewhere. So I'm just going to take a peek see and look. Because they're, they're all around here somewhere, and you can do it now, if I recall correctly. So I might as well. Hmm. 
No, just endless, endless desert. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there is actually a secret over by that uh, cactus over there, but I think I think that that's something that's like for a secret for later to save. I'd like to save. If I oh wait, no, actually I can do this now, couldn't I? Uh, actually, no, I can't because I need to be able to ground pound under the cactus, and I don't have the tools necessary to do that. And I think up here are some, yeah, purple coins, regional coins, might as well grab those. But yeah, where is the last sheep anyway? I'm just gonna go around the ice formations and take a peek see, I guess. Hmm. I don't recall it being this far away, but my memory is failing me on a lot of things today for some reason. <laughs> oh, there is this. I thought there was a sheep in the ice. Nah, I was gonna say, if it's in the ice, I can't do it now, and then I have to recollect the, both those sheep that I got before, and that would be unfortunate. Maybe that one that I, the second one that I got was the one that I was thinking was around the, the back end of it, or whatnot. Hmm, hmm. Sheep, where are you? What if I ground pound in the middle of these? Nothing. Oh, wait, what? Huh? What? You were here the whole time? You... You mock me! You mock me! Get in your corral! Oh, I, I overshot it! <laughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, I guess I was just confusing the back one with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Okay. <laughs> so you get a moon for that. All that trouble for one moon. You're welcome. <laughs> Herding sheep in the dunes. Now, one more thing that I like to do this part is there's a little ledge down here, and I think it's unlocked for me to do right now. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, this is all stuff I guess you, I'm considering to be quote unquote along the way. Now, if you look at here, you cannot go across it with your moai. See, I'm walking towards it. So you've actually got to memorize the location of the pathway and then go across it. Got it? Good. And I definitely want those regional coins. That looks a little dicey, but it's most certainly doable. <laughs> just want to give myself a little... and a little half jump. Just to give myself a little bit more air there. And I'm actually going to go long jump across that. There we go. There's a moon over there. Boink. Bunk, bunk. Ready, steady, and jump, and jump. We did it! Woo! I don't remember if there is anything else around here. Uh, there might be, I don't know. This, this game can be pretty, pretty secretive at times. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But yeah, I don't think there was anything else in this particular area. I could be wrong though. So I probably shouldn't take note of that for later, just in case. Should they don't steal our precious artifacts. What precious artifacts? Are you talking about them? Things are heating up. Them really fearing they're actually stealing our legendary ring binding band. Oh poopers! Oh poopers! I should have talked to them when I came over here first. But I just did a loop around because I went to that other building over there. Travel tip rule: When you want to move quickly, just zip down a hill. Let it I, I, this is just exactly what I taught. Oh. And yes, you can also alternate between the Wii remotes rather than rather than use the Y button. I think it's actually faster doing it like this than with the Y button, come to think of it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead down over here. And the sheep got out again! The sheep! They got out again! <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. By the way, you can destroy the boxes and get stuff too, by the way. <laughs> ah, okay, I, I think I've punished myself enough for this part, so I'm gonna talk to these last guys and then end off the part. Welcome to Tostarina! You here to see the sights? You know what? The action guide, right? I know already. They'll, they'll just poop me over there. What a relief! Yeah, they'll poop me over to that pause screen type place again. And... I saw a weird Bowser Peach couple going to the pyramid! I think they're going to see our celebrated ring binding band. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh man, that's going to be frightening. But anyway, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when hopefully I am in a better state of mind. <laughs>